But also this year, parents have two less Catholic schools to choose from in the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese. Yeah, they both closed over the yeah. summer, but Channel 11's Jennifer Tomasic found out how the diocese says these closures will actually help strengthen the Catholic school system. Jennifer? Well, Gordon and Catherine, everybody I interviewed for this story agreed that when it comes to these class sizes, it means that there's going to be fewer schools, but it means that there's going to be more students in the schools that are open, and they all say that this makes for a better learning environment for the students. At first, it was difficult, you know, having families worry about where am I going to go to school, What's going next year going to be look like? Who are my teachers going to be? Robert Reese is the principal of Blessed Francis Silos Catholic Elementary School. It formed when St. Alexis and St. Alphonsus merged in 2017. But once we came together, we formed a brand new community family that is basically bonding and creating new traditions. Going into its third year, Principal Reese says enrollment is up, touting a 43 student kindergarten class. Blessed Francis Silos was part of the first round of mergers within the Pittsburgh Catholic schools. To deliver Catholic education in a very sustainable manner, which enabled us to have the same you know, curriculum. We had groups that we could share resources. This summer, the diocese decided to close both St. Raphael's in Morningside and St. Sylvester's in Brentwood. St. Elizabeth Principal Leslie Kruger's school in the South Hills is taking many of the St. Sylvester's students. Really comforting them. And that's all that I can really do for them at this present moment, because there are so many emotions that are attached to this closing. And a regional board makes that decision. There's a new one in the east. There has been one in the north for three years. Next is the south and the northwest, and eventually one in the city center. Looking forward, we don't want to be managing decline. We want to be sustaining our schools so that this is an option for children in all of our six counties, you know, going forward. And to give you some perspective on class size, before the mergers in the north, some of those classes only had 8 to 10 students with a disproportionate number of girls and boys. And so now with these schools that have merged together, their class size is about 15 to 18 students, which the diocese says is really good for student academics. Reporting live this morning, Jennifer Tomazic, Channel 11 News.